Who's calling? Who's calling? Who's calling? It's just Jen on Light 98.7. Good morning, Jen. Good morning. I have yet another adventure from Boston when I went over the weekend. I want to hear. Tell me what happened. I went to the world's first Dunkin' Donuts shop. Really? Yep. It's in Quincy, Massachusetts. It was founded by this guy named William Rosenberg back in 1948. It used to be called the Open Kettle. He renamed it to Dunkin' Donuts in 1950. Oh, that's neat. So the whole shop is done like in a retro fashion. You know, it's got like retro decorations on the inside. And they've got this big, giant, beautiful plaque that says original Dunkin' Donuts. Okay. Is that how you knew? Did you know before you went that it was original or when you actually saw the plaque or what? No, one of my friends pointed it out and he started to drive past it. I'm like, what are you doing? Pull a U-turn. So he did. We went inside and there was no wait. I was surprised. Really? You know, it was founded by this guy, William Rosenberg, but all along I thought it was the guy with the mustache. Time to make the donuts. That guy, I thought he was the founder. Well, you know, it's Open Kettle. I mean, that's an interesting name, but that was brilliant for them to change it to Dunking Donuts. The alliteration is there, and then also, I mean, you know, everybody loves to dunk their donuts in their coffee. I don't. You don't? No. I think that's gross. It's not gross. It's good. (laughs) It makes the donut soggy. Well, you wouldn't want to let it sit there. I mean, it's not something I do all the time, but you know what? Every once in a while to dunk your donut in a hot cup of yummy coffee is really good. You've actually done this. I've done it. What? Yeah. Well, I guess other people have too, but it just seems to be kind of distasteful in a literal sense. (laughs) Well, to each his own. It's okay. It's just Jen on Light 98.7. More of the Most Music Morning Show with Matt Hubble, next.